Hey Chem Kids, this is Underwood with your next Honors Chemistry Unit 1 uh, webcast. We've got uh, Percent Abundance as our topic today. What is Percent Abundance? Well, Percent Abundance can be defined as the percentage of a given isotope of an element on Earth in relation to the total abundance of the atoms of a given element on Earth. That might sound a little complicated, so let me see if I can draw you a picture and explain. Let's say that we were talking about chlorine chlorine right here. Let's say that all the chlorine that existed on the planet was represented by this big circle. Okay. Now as it turns out, chlorine has two isotopes. It's got chlorine 35 and it's got chlorine 37. Now those two isotopes together encompass all the chlorine that exists on planet Earth. But each one is going to represent a certain percentage of the total chlorine on earth. So as it turns out, 25% or a percent abundance of 25% is chlorine 37 and 75% roughly is chlorine 35. So most of the chlorine that we talk about is isotope 35. There's also some that incorporates chlorine 37. You see what I'm getting at? So, so all of the uh, all of the chlorine, this, this circle represents all chlorine. All chlorine. Okay? All chlorine. Now, we can do a certain set of calculations when we understand what um, what percent abundance is. So I'm going to go ahead and break it down as best I can and give you a basic percent abundance equation that you can use to solve these problems. First off, what you want to do, you want to take the atomic mass of isotope A and you want to multiply it by the percent abundance of isotope A. Now you can go ahead and add that to the product of atomic mass of isotope B multiplied by the percentage abundance of isotope B. And when I add those two products together, I'm going to get the elemental atomic mass, which is the one that you find on the periodic table. Okay, so whenever I ask you to do problems like that, I'm going to give you the variables that you need. And I'm going to leave one variable that you need to find. So I've got two examples here I'm going to walk through you with and, and, and see, how, see if you can figure out how to do these. Here's our first example. Two naturally occurring isotopes of chlorine are chlorine-35 with a mass of 34.9689 and chlorine 37 with a mass of 36.9659. The atomic mass of elemental chlorine on Earth is found to be 35.46. Calculate the percent abundance. So let's talk about what we have. We have the mass of isotope A, and we have the mass of isotope B, and we have the elemental atomic mass. So if you guys want to stop right here, pause it, and move backwards and check out our universal percent abundance equation, then we can plug all this stuff in and try to solve. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through this. First thing I do, I find the iso um, atomic mass of isotope A, and that's chlorine 35, and I know that that is 34.97. It's right here. Okay. I multiply that by the percent abundance. Now, I don't know it because I'm asked to find it. You see how I'm asked to find it? So I'm just going to leave that as variable x. Now, x is going to be a very small number, a, a number smaller than 1. Smaller than 1, okay? It's going to be a decimal smaller than 1. Now I'm going to go ahead and add that to that my next atomic mass for isotope B, that's 
0.97, and that's right here. And I'm rounding just to make the math a little bit easier, but normally you wouldn't round. Now, I'm going to multiply that by the percent abundance of isotope B, but again, I don't know that. But I am finding X. So I'm going to represent the percent abundance of isotope B with the expression 1 minus X. I'm going to get two percentages for solving for one variable. It's almost magical, right? Okay. This is going to be equal to the elemental atomic mass, which is 35.46 AMU. Now, you can just go ahead and solve. 34.97 times x is 34.97x. Plus, now this is a little tricky. You've got to reach back into your algebra knowledge, and you have to notice that you have to use the distributive property. You have to multiply 36.97 by 1, and then you've got to multiply it by negative x. So what I'm going to end up with is... 36.97 minus 36.97x. And that's all equal to 35.46. All right, let's keep going. Now, I'm going to subtract 36.97x from 34.97x. Okay? 36.97x from 34.97x, and that gives me one negative, 1.997x, plus 36.97, and that's, again, all equal to 35.46. Now, the next step is to just subtract from both sides 36.97, and so what I'm going to get is negative 1.997x. That's going to be equal to negative 1.5059. Now I can go ahead and divide by both sides. Remember, this is basic algebra, and we're going to find that x is equal to 0 0.75. Now if I multiply that by 100, that is 75%. And if you pause here and track back, you'll notice that X was the percent abundance for chlorine 35. Now, what was the percent abundance for chlorine 37? Well, that was expressed by 1 minus x. So if I say 1 minus 0 0.75, that equals 0 0.25. And if I multiply that by 100, that equals 25%. And that is the percent abundance for chlorine 37. So that's a basic percent abundance problem. Watch this again. Look through it. See if you can see how I did it. Next. Now this one's going to be a little bit different, and you'll see that I set it up differently. I've got two natural samples of copper, and it contain, or they, and sorry, sorry. I've got a natural sample of copper, and it contains two isotopes. There's copper 63 that has a mass of 62.93. And I've got copper 65 that has a mass of 64.928. The percent abundance of copper 63 is 69.09. Calculate the atomic mass. Well, so this time, I'm not calculating the percent abundance, but I'm calculating something different. But I'm still going to use that universal percent abundance equation. Let's check it out. Uh, let me get a different color. All right, here we go. I've got the mass of copper 63. I've got the mass of copper 65. And I've got the percent abundance of copper 63. So let's plug. 
Copper 63 will be my isotope A. I take the atomic mass, 62.93. I multiply that by the percent abundance, and it gives it to me right there. Look, 0 0.6909. Does everybody see how I got that from that percentage? Yeah, I had to divide by 100 first. Remember, this is always going to be a less than one decimal number. Now, I add that to my atomic mass of isotope B, which is 64.93. That's where I got that. Now, remember, the percent abundance of isotope B is going to be 1 minus the percent abundance of isotope A. So I can stick that in there just like that. And this is going to be equal to my unknown atomic mass, x. Now you see how I use the same equation, but I just am solving for a different variable. Very straightforward. So when I do this mathematics, what I'm going to end up with is that 62.93 times 0 0.6909 is equivalent to 43.48. Now, this is, I'm, not, I'm going to show you how I manipulate this. This is just 1 minus 0 0.6909. That ends up being 0 0.3. One. And that is still equal to x. So then I can multiply this all together. 43.48 plus 64.93 times 0.31 is equal to 20.07. And that's equal to x. Now I just add these two together. And what do I get? I get 63. 0.55 and that equals x and if you recall x is equal to the atomic mass of elemental copper so this is the atomic mass that I'm gonna find on the periodic table you can use the periodic table to check your work on these. So see if you can run through these two problems on your own without watching the video. Now I've been talking about chemistry for a little while here, so I'll give you a break. That's a seahorse, and your argument is invalid. Here's another problem, but this time I'm not going to show you how to do it. I want you to try it yourself. Go ahead and pause this video, work on this problem, get your answers. And here's the final answers here. Let's see if you got it right. If you got it right, congratulations. Awesome. If you didn't get it right, that's okay. Let's try it again. We always learn from our mistakes. This is Underwood with the second uh, honors webcast. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. If you have any more questions, shoot me an email or get with me in class. Underwood signing out.